Good morning, computer. Good morning, Commander. Activate stream. Done, Commander. Good morning, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Prosper Thunderchild, I am logging in for the day. Glad to see everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, gonna be playing City Skylines to do City Skylines 2 today, and it's patch day. Very exciting. Been waiting a while for it. I'm super excited about it. I did look at um, what mods were already available because they did introduce modding. Um, but I did see that it also disables achievements, which I am currently chasing. Um, so I did look at one or two mods, decided not to stream a mod today. So that, that'll probably hurt me as far as, uh, people watching, but that's okay because I'm not here to be a professional streamer. I am just here to play the game and have fun, but we will be exploring beachfront properties in city skylines 2. the new patch just came out uh we're going to be looking at some of the new um uh content that's in the game that's been released uh so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead we're gonna play we're gonna work on we'll probably actually go into uh i'm gonna see where it goes but we're going to start with the first city that we worked on and uh see if there's some uh updates that we need to do to that and then move on over to some of the newer cities. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into it and take a look at some of the older cities and see what we can come up with. Let's get started. Done, Commander. So, we've got City Skylines 2, uh, and I, there it is. And um, this is the new update that we have here. Uh, beachfront properties, new waterfront zoning, uh, slice of paradise, new waterfront zone for European themes in southern European coastal cities. So like southern France, Italy, stuff like that. North American theme brings uh, atmosphere of Florida, swimming pools and backyards to liven up the neighborhoods. Love it. Um, new residential signature buildings. We're going to see which ones we can actually get into and uh, have some fun with. And then uh, new vegetation, palm trees and stuff. Now, uh, I usually play on a temperate map. So I don't see myself using too many palm trees. I might do like more of a tropical theme on another um, city build. But since all of my current city builds are in a temperate or northern zone, we will not be placing palm trees today. So, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it, see what we can do. We're gonna load into a game and let's see here the stream build. I think this is the correct one. We need to go to the first one that we did though. I am working on a sandwich too, so you'll have to forgive me for that. It is currently lunchtime for me. Alright, so we're loading right on in. And this is the first city that we worked on. This is Blackwood Town. And then over here we have our other city. And then down here, of course, the college town that we worked on. Which, to be honest, we will probably do some sort of update over here. I haven't decided exactly what that update's going to look like yet. But we'll take a look at it. Now, the zoning down here, I think... We're going to look at these beachfront properties. Uh, low density, waterfront housing. We're going to go ahead and put that in right here. And we're going to actually, let me change that out. What is this? 
Sculptor's Mansion. We'll actually leave that there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let the game roll in. And we're going to see what some of this new beachfront housing looks like. second now. Oh yeah, no, I don't need that. Alright, and then don't know if I'm gonna do any down there. I'll probably rezone this as beachfront. Getting there, seventy-five percent of the way done. Are there any residential stuff that's on the water here that we can adjust? Hmm. And actually, now that I think about it, we have a new radio station too now, don't we? Hmm. Spreading in the nearby forest, the billowing clouds of smoke pose a serious health risk to anyone nearby. At this time, all citizens in the affected area are instructed to immediately move to a safe distance until the situation is under control. Is anyone seeing my keys? Take a load off, everybody. You're listening to Deluxe Relax. Not you, though, Sarah. Oh, sorry. I know, I know. Posture is important, even on the radio. Especially on the radio. And remember to breathe. Okay, thanks. I'll remember. Stay tuned, oh, folks. Margaret's. We'll be back. All right, look at that. The Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources fixed. tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The point is, we're selling it and bringing money mm, into local economy. That's right. Economy. You could almost say it's All right, too this much housing should of be done. Let's thing. take a look or at what the beachfront property is going We're enjoying look like. a positive Oops. trade balance, and the economy a little, a little is booming. Too close. More after this. Too close. A little too this close. just in from traffic. If you're thinking oh, about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, yeah, especially like during rush hour. And stuff in Good on. to know, Jim. Seems like everyone is in a hurry to get somewhere fast. It's worth slowing down. And if you can, plan your trip outside the rush. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather wait an hour in traffic than to have to start thinking okay. about everything all the time. Besides, if I did that, I'd never get anywhere. And then we rezoned these. So we got some smaller beachfront. All right, I don't like that music. I'm going to turn it down just a tad. Loving this. How are you? Welcome to the party. Didn't see you. Loving this, I actually just went live. Um, we've been live all of about 10 minutes. So. 
just went live. So we're, um, as I as I mentioned right at the beginning, since you're just coming in, um, we're going to revisit some of the, I did get the patch. We have the patch uploaded. No mods running right now. I am playing around with some of the new stuff. I'm thinking about adding in some of the assets from uh, the patch into previously uh, done maps. So we've loaded in to our very first, uh, wow, that sun glare. We've loaded into our very first uh, temp here uh, build. And um, we're gonna fix that real quick. Options. Uh, Where's the sun daylight? Okay, we're gonna fix that. Oh, so much better. How does it render? Uh, well, uh, you talking about some of the new houses or the simulation in general? I, I have no problem with the sim. The sim seems to be running really well. So. Uh, well, let's uh, kick it up to full speed here, because I, I haven't been too long into it, but, you know, I can't put my finger on it. I played with some of the graphic settings earlier, so I can't decide. I almost feel like, I feel like the graphics quality has changed somehow. I don't know how yet. Can't put my finger on it. Um, something graphically looks different, but I don't know what it is. Um, I really, I'm really hesitant to say it because I don't want to jinx anything and I, and I don't want it to be true. Um, however, I almost were to suspect that maybe... I'm not sure if it's me. It, it, it might be me. I don't know, because um, I feel like something graphically has changed. Everything looks a little duller to me. Like the color palette seems to have changed. Oh, well, uh, yeah, that's uh, that fountain. So this was the kind of central city park that I built when I I actually planned the entire city around this park right here when I first did this build. Um, but let me see here. That is right here under landmarks. It is uh, Fountain Plaza. So very expensive. Uh, so the, the plaza by itself, I had to place the street around it. Uh, I wish I had done a better job. I'll probably clean it up one day. Yeah, it's one of the only one type of buildings. So. You know, I was sitting over here and I was uh, like this, and I was just thinking that I could build a whole neighborhood right in here. <laughs> but I know I'm supposed to be putting farmland all out, out here. I actually would love to fill up uh, all of this empty space in between the trees with nothing but farmland. Castle ruins an old cemetery there. And uh, this was the map where we were having trouble, like we wanted to gather up um, employees for the power plant. Look at that, we got 64 employees out of 134. The plant's running at 73% efficiency. So we, we still have, it looks like we've got uh, employees working there at the nuclear plant, which is good. So that's gotten a lot better. Uh, with a mod, you can add resources on the land, and you can save 
to get mods. So I was thinking about that and I'll be honest, I tried to load in one or two mods earlier, not onto these saves, but onto my private saves. And um, I noticed that it actually disables, um, the mods actually disable achievements. And uh, which makes sense, it makes sense. So I'm sitting there and I was thinking about it and I was like, do I really want to stream with mods tonight? Because I won't get any achievements. And I thought about it and I guess it would depend on which city I'm working on as to whether or not I try a mod. So um, obviously the city where we had um, unlocked, uh, I have people crashing every five minutes and people no crash for eight hours. Are you talking about um, streamers or are you talking about um, uh, 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 Sims driving around in their cars having vehicle accidents? But uh, I gave it some thought and I was trying to figure out what would be, yeah, streamers and my friends both. Um, well, loving this, uh, to be perfectly honest, uh, we've, uh, I've only been streaming for 16 minutes. The game's been loaded. Um, I haven't had any crashes yet. It's not to say that we won't have one. Uh, you know me, I, I find new and interesting ways of crashing my stream every single night. So, <laughs> um, I wouldn't, if, if I was to have a crash to desktop, I would not, I would not necessarily, I have a beast of a computer. I don't think I would blame the uh, game. I think I would probably be more inclined to blame me for doing something I wasn't supposed to be doing. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I mean, as far as, um, as far as Skylines goes, I, I don't know if I would, um, I haven't noticed any problem. I've got the speed turned all the way up and actually we can go into dev mode here and I, I can turn it up to the very maximum speed and see what happens. So we're at eight times speed. That's the fastest I can get the game to run. This is the biggest city I have. It's a hun population's 111,000. It's a huge amount of the city has been uh, placed in and it's yeah. But again, I'm running a, I'm running a beast of a computer. I'm running a, a republic of gamers, a news uh, gaming fire tower. So, reports that fires are currently spreading not to advertise for them, but the billowing clouds of smoke I'm proud of my computer. So. I, I love up. ROG. They, they've At got time, great products. All citizens so. in the affected area are uh, instructed to I, I, I think to a safe before that, I was a, a, I was a Hewlett Packard man, believe it or not. I was a big fan of their products. And then one day my computer died and I was like, screw it. I need a dedicated gaming computer. And I looked at uh, Alienware and I looked at ROG, uh, Republic of Gamers, and I ended up going with uh, Republic of Gamers. And I, I haven't looked back. I've, I've been there ever since. So this one's running well. This is the new asset over here. We uh, zoned in some uh, North American beachfront housing and it looks like some of them's upgrading. They got pools in the backyard. I got half of mine. I, I need literally what you are saying for my new beast. Um, so, you know, I got half. I, I like these houses better than I like the regular ones. And I might be tempted to just do beachfront even on property that's not beachfront but I would imagine it wouldn't work as well. So, but we zoned in some uh, housing here and I did some more. I changed out some of the housing down here. So these are some more of the uh, beachfront houses right along here. Um, and we've got a variation in sizes. So it looks like uh, this is a bigger one and then you got some longer ones, so. This one was, uh, this is still beachfront, but it's, uh, very small, but that's okay because we want to see all the different sizes. And then I, I played with some of these over here too. 
So these are some more of the beachfront houses. Uh, but I think we have access to a bunch of new uh, beach house uh, buildings. Uh, so we need to zone in 2,500 cells, 10,000 cells, and 25,000 cells of beachfront property to get unlock these buildings. Hmm. I don't think I have that much beachfront actually unlocked. I think most of it's zoned for high density. I might have some room down here. Yes, these new buildings are from the patch. So. Let's do this. North American. We're going to change out some of these. And is this, this is medium density here, but this one isn't, so we'll change these out. All right, and then we'll see what that looks like. Yep, new zoning. And I'm gonna fix I'm gonna fix some of this because you got these houses that are just sitting out in the water. I'm actually gonna fix that real quick. So we're gonna turn this brush down. Set the height. And then we're gonna fix this just a little. Kind of irritates me just a little to see the houses like jutting out like this doesn't bother me so much this is a little bit more plausible but mm. high rent on the film actor mansion the film actors complaining that the rent on his condo is too high what the heck <laughs> get a job you bum never gonna pay you know the one thing that i am really looking forward to though um as far as um i'm gonna I'm switch i'm gonna i'm gonna switch from the game music uh back to my own private uh music because it's it, it's just better <laughs> Hopefully that's not too loud. Hopefully that music's a little better. I'm going for a softer feel on music tonight. <sighs> Trying to ooze out with the coffee and the ham sandwich I got. All right, let's see what the zoning is doing. Footballist here connects their electricity to city grid so they don't pay millions on electricity, of course. Hard to find rich ones don't pay. All right, so we've zoned this. Let's see where we're at uh, building-wise. Uh, so we're halfway to our first thing. Wow, so we got to zone a quite a lot. Quite a lot of beachfront in order to unlock this. We could probably change this neighborhood over right here. Let's do that. So we're going to swap over that, and that should... Uh, we're going to get this row here, too, I think. All right. So we're going to swap that out. 
So honestly, it might require because on this build, this was before I learned how to do my quay walls. Uh, I'm, I, I might. There we go. So the real estate agent's mansion has unlocked. We're going to place it. Here might be good. You're not losing anything. But I almost wonder. Now now the residents of the uh, town will have a real estate agent who can uh, help them find better houses. Maybe it'll help with the rent situation. Uh, let's look. Let's look, let's look. Do, 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 do. Uh, 7,000. But this entire town right here is nothing but waterfront. So I have no problem in my head cannon switching this entire town over to waterfront. So, I'm just going to be careful how I do it. I don't want to accidentally swap something over that's not supposed to be. Because my zoning out here was a little wonky. But our people now have a real estate agent to help them buy and sell houses around town, so that'll be good. I wish they'd give some functionality to that too. Like, um, excuse me. <coughs> like instead of, um, maybe it, it helps, it helps cut down on the high rent prices because the real estate agent can help you find um, a house to live in, you know? give it some sort of like bonus towards like homelessness or something they solved that check your land value grid um they may have but i'm still seeing an awful lot but this city was built prior to prior to that uh that the patch so it might be still uh it might be still trying to resolve itself so let's look at that while we're waiting for that town to respawn um land value oh look at that well the land value definitely i remember it being a lot darker now it's still really high up in here but that's okay it's to be expected that the value in the uh in the inner city would be very dark so we're going to let the uh, land value stabilize a little bit and we'll see what happens. And it could be right now that it's just high rent because poverty, uh, people are trying to uh, educate themselves and there's just not enough jobs. And it could be because there's not enough housing. We have demand through the roof for everything here. So because demand is through the roof for everything... Um, it, it might be that we just need more regular housing. We need to, to fill this out. We need to fill this map out. Um, and I think the hardest part would be that, uh, would be that yours truly is, uh, struggling to want to be on this map and playing on it. Efficiency is up to 81%. We've got 71 employees here, which is good. Uh, we're going to take a look at the building unlock. Woo! <laughs> uh, we'd have to build quite a bit. So, I don't know. I'm going to take a bite of my sandwich. In the meantime, time for a shameless plug.
all right so like the banner says don't forget to hit the buttons that say like subscribe tells the algorithms I'm doing the end a good job end of shameless plug looks like we got a structure fire loving this we've got a structure fire oh and it's a big one too where in the world is the fire truck oh they're sending the helicopter Wind is stronger, never seen so long fumes. Hmm. Could be, could be. Um, I don't think I've noticed. It might be that they tweaked the wind on this specific map. Uh, or maybe they fixed the graphics for the, uh, for the fumes for this fire. And that's what I think has probably happened. I think the smoke actually looks better in my opinion. I'm real curious to see if they've uh, updated the fire trucks so that you see the firemen. Smoke and the fire definitely look better. I'm gonna stick by my statement that I feel like the graphics quality has changed. Not bad, but not better. Um, it's definitely changed. Things look different. The colors look a little duller, but I'm not sure if that's me or not. And you know, sometimes these patches, they change your, your preferred settings by accident too. So let's see here. Mm. How do you do ultra, 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 ultra? Everything's on high. Everything's on high depth of field mode. Eh. I don't want to mess with the setting if I don't know what it does. Let's see here. Nah. Because that will crash the stream. <laughs> Alright. Traffic down here at the port. We never did solve this port traffic. I don't know what to do about it. I truly don't. I do know that a patch was supposed to have fixed it or at least made it better. But that was a patch that was live when we were actually building this map. So, I don't know. The smoke definitely looks better. All the smoke stacks look good. anything was necessarily added I did notice that hmm they did say beaches and harbors I thought it was just the beaches though Was it... Tourism... Yeah, because I was looking at the patch stuff. What is... Why am I getting a water alert? Advanced water pumping stations. 
We already had the harbor. Yeah. I, I was really hoping, honestly, for um, the ability to put piers in. Because like, I really wanted to put, like, fishing piers and stuff. But, we can build our own. I think, I think it was mostly a performance patch. It was the new radio station. So there's a new radio station, which I was playing at first, but I decided to shut it off. And then, um, aside from the radio station, it was also the new zoning and the new buildings. mind the ads on the radio but I think with the mods coming in we're gonna get uh, people putting their own radio stations together and as much as I would love to have that I would be worried to play them on stream because I would be worried about copyright infringements but it would be really nice but you know what else I was thinking loving this you know how I have uh, voice commands set up for the stream? Mm. I was thinking about making a um, tornado alert. Now, when I got the guy that have zero crashes I'll tell him to upload copy the mods to all my friends well we haven't crashed this one yet I would like to probably switch over to the other city though I think I want to go visit the mountain town and you know what we never we never yeah so the the tornado uh I wanted to change it and I was thinking about it today I was thinking about uh, the emergency here in the uh, here in the states we have the emergency broadcast system it has a very unique sound and I was thinking about setting something up like that so that way whenever a tornado happens into the city if if we declare a tornado warning we could play it would play the sound and you'd have like across the top the tornado warning has been issued for your area blah 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 and uh like the like you know when you're watching TV and the weatherman cuts in and you got that little bar at the bottom and it tells you where all the weather stuff is at, but uh, I I would set something up like that on the uh, on the stream or whatnot, and it would be fun. It would just add to the immersion. We could just have a little fun with it. But um, the only downside is is it's actually a crime. I know there's a lot of people they put YouTube prank videos where they they set that up, but it's actually a crime to imitate that sound for the alarm for a national emergency <laughs> and a lot of people don't realize that they'll play it and they'll, they'll play jokes on each other and they don't realize that they are actually committing a crime i only know this because i am i i have the job that i have so <laughs> but so i was like oh i really want to do that so i'll have to come up with something but of course i've got the uh the red alert uh, thing that I have for the uh, for when we had the uh, school burning down. Oh, that was horrible. All right, I want to go check out the mountain town. I think that we could re. We were in the when I last left off on that uh, mountain town uh, that we were building. Uh, we were building the college, and we could zone that entire college area around the lake. We could take that whole area and zone it uh, with beachfront property. And that was a fun build with the uh, big dam. And I'm curious to see if they have done any changes with the water as far as how that dam looks. They haven't put anything in the patch, but sometimes they fix something and they forget to put it in the patch notes. 
So I'm curious with the way everything's rendering now, if that has changed at all. Yep. So, um, before we leave this city, uh, I really think we should name this city. Um, we've got Cypress Bluff, Garnet Heights. So that's Garnet Heights. We got Blackwood and Cypress Bluff. So I think what I'm looking, when you get really far away, all you see is the roads. You don't see the houses anymore. So I changed that. Let's look at this town uh, real quick before we leave. We just rezoned all of this as beachfront. It looks pretty good. I like that everybody has pools, but you know what? I bet you these houses are like expensive. Hmm. Let's look at the uh, signature buildings. Yeah, so we would still need to zone in another 5,000 cells just for this one, and that's not even counting the uh, mogul's mansion. And it's a shame, too, because I actually... Maybe I'll load a game with everything unlocked just to show off the assets. I'm going to do that real quick. So we're going to save this. This was our first stream build. So we're going to save that. We need to come up with this... Uh, I need a name for that city. We need to name all the cities because I do want to do the thing where I interconnect all the cities. I really want to do that. So, um, new game. Uh, it doesn't matter what map we're on. It really, it really doesn't. Select map. We're going to unlock everything. Unlock all. Yes, I know I'm not getting achievements finish off the sandwich all right hmm here we go all right, here are your new buildings. I think they look great, by the way. I really do. Alright, so we have the Athletes Villa. This is like your Tony Hawk house that they've added in. Apparently, Tony Hawk's uh, swimming pool looks almost empty there. Oh no, the swimming pool's just on a level lower. Oh, that's cool. You got a basement swimming pool thing going on there. I like that. Alright. Next, we've got the Golfer's Villa. So this is going to be... Oh, yeah, it's big. So this is going to be your... Um... Oh, gosh. What's the name of the golfer? I'm trying to remember his name. Tiger Woods. This is like your Tiger Woods house. <laughs> big asset. Uh, and then we have the Royal Villa. And that's where Prospero is going to live. Look at that. You got an underground garage there. That's pretty cool. And then let's switch over to North American. Here's the North American real estate uh, mansion. We placed that on our, on our map earlier. And then the Architect's Mansion. And the Industry Mogul's Mansion. Uh, 
Um, the architect one is the arch is the ugliest one. Yeah, well, there's no accounting for taste. I like this one. So, and then. Let's see here. This has all been there before. Yeah. I think so too. So that's that's gonna be uh, Prospero's house in his city. <laughs> so pretty pretty large assets. Try a two by two no residential. All right. Let's see what we can do. All right, that's European. We're going to do North American. And we'll do North American 2x3. North American 3x3. Three three. North American 4x4. Four Oh, oh, it's magic. You know. Come on, spawn in. That they isn't spawning in. They know likey. All right, let's let's get them some water. The fools want water. Electricity. Does it need electricity? It doesn't need electricity. Yeah, it might be that. Yeah, you might be right. It might be that they're not close enough to the coast if we want to be built. Good to know. I think you might be right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Doesn't look any different there. Oh, we put all this medium density stuff here. We might get away with the first like one or two blocks down here.
turn speed up so this renders quickly. To be honest, I remember that we were planning to do this, but I had forgotten that I had actually done it. <laughs> oh my goodness. So there's our real estate mansion. And uh, we're going to put her over here. clean these trees up real quick. I thought I had water pumps over here. Oh, you know what? I know I, I realized what I did. I moved them. I remember now. That's exactly where I, I just remembered that's where I put them. Oh, Alrighty. It's not a bad skyline for a city, though. I mean, I, this is a cool city. I'm actually kind of proud of this, and I like the... Uh, this is this is right after I learned how to do the uh, waterfront. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm watching the, the low housing. I just watched the low housing rent. You're right. Uh, that's the first time I've seen them popping away. I'm going to turn this. I'm going to leave the speed running and see what happens. You're right. You're slowly but surely getting better. That actually makes me feel better, too. Now, I might be able to zone some waterfront properties right here, so I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to go ahead and put that in. I'm going to be careful about how I zone it, though. So, we're going to zone this here. We're gonna... I'll zone it this way first. This music that's playing right now is just is really giving me Lord of the Rings vibe. Let me make sure it's still the right channel. I definitely don't want to accidentally broadcast something I ain't supposed to be. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the the uh the ring theme song all right uh, we could probably put some of these houses right here what dog what i don't they don't want to watch me play with you <laughs> yes. oh my goodness Oh my goodness. My poor doggy, he's so ignored. Oh, if you only you knew. If only you knew loving this. That he's so abused. He never gets played with. some new housing going up right here I'm, I might be able to swing some smaller houses along here they will have to be individually put in though I think
Yeah, I got that too. That whiny roommates go are crying for four hours. Can't make them shut up. You say something and they both go on the floor like, don't kill me, barking and yelling more. Yeah. After you want to play with them and all, okay. But while, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, that's, 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 that's pets for you. I'm going to rezone this, I think. Oh, and I learned how to do a new trick today. Well, last night while I was at work. I watch other people's streams while I'm at work sometimes. And I learned a new trick. And I kind of am, I'm kind of interested in trying it out. So, I learned a new uh, cul-de-sac trick on how to build a cul-de-sac. Alright, we're going to let that zone. Our population tanked, but oh well. Oh, snap! The post office is burning down! It really annoys me that the helicopter always responds to the fires now. <laughs> yes, the, the tax returns, the tax returns burnt. Uh, I get that they wouldn't, the helicopter is great, but they wouldn't necessarily use the helicopter for every single fire in the city all the fire trucks are doing is just taking up space in the bay now because the fire the helicopter goes and just dumps the water on everything i don't know maybe when we start yeah maybe maybe we'll get um when we start getting like actual disasters and stuff in the game maybe when that happens we'll uh and we start getting um forest fires and meteors hitting the city it did come in more you they'd be more useful plenty of employees 37 percent power usage 43 percent efficiency due to low water depth so i wonder if it's just because the lake is still filling a little bit I don't know. We'll see. Oh, we just had some weather we over here. Program to bring you a special news bulletin. The fire and rescue service reports that fires are currently spreading in the nearby forest. The billowing clouds of smoke pose a serious health risk to anyone nearby. At this time, all citizens in the affected area are instructed to immediately move to a safe distance. Not another so the fire. Situation is under control. Well, you see, and that's what the helicopter should be responding to right there. that fire at it's over here oh there's the fire helicopter taking care of it good job guys all right so we got our medical university over here the subway system what should we call this city Loving this. I don't think we can rely on the rest of the uh, 
the lurkers and the chatters to uh, name any of these cities, man. You think it's? Uh, I think we're just gonna have to. Uh, I think we're just gonna have to come up with names for all of these towns and cities ourselves. I do want to try it, I think, while I'm... I need a swath of clear land to try it on, though. I want to, I want to try and make a cul-de-sac. Just for the sake of trying. Maybe it was this one? Well, I like the idea of something damn, but I don't know. I'm doing something wrong with this. Damnation. Thank you. This comes out. I'll have to watch the uh, other person do it again because I cannot do it. <laughs> Tried and failed. All right, let me let me see.
think for me the hardest part is just being able to see the grid. Because once I'm able to see the grid, I can see what I'm doing. So like over three, up three, and then up three, and then over three. And then repeat it over three, you know, one, two, three, down three, down three, and over three. This still looks like crap though. But you get the idea, because now we have a circle, and you know, we just zone a little couple of the houses, and we just do little, little houses like this. And we have a cul-de-sac. we could do here in this cul-de-sac if we can manage it Yeah. I mean, it's all right. Oh, a nice little experiment. bus didn't even stop. More vehicles needed. Hmm. Check the bus route. All right. Mm -hmm. How do you know that? How, wait, first of all, how did you know that more vehicles were needed? Oh, because of the icon. <laughs> Never mind. I knew that. I was just making sure you knew. Mm. All the traffic to and from the bus station is still our big issue. I wonder if I made a road right here and made it made this whole street one way. I wonder what would happen. And then we're going to make this one way. Uh, 
and it will make the buses go around and come back by the street. And these buses will be able to exit. Here comes the return line for the buses. They're just caught in the traffic now. See, I feel like that might have helped a little bit. Like, I, I, I realize it's not helping the pedestrian traffic, but I feel like we cut down by half the amount of buses trying to get through that pedestrian traffic. <clears throat> well, I'm not going to declare it solved yet. <clears throat> Hold on a minute. It's crazy that it took us, like, I, I, I'd have to look when we actually started this build, but it's crazy that it took us from the start of the build all the way till now. The bus station was the first thing I installed, public transportation ride-wise. <clears throat> the traffic light. Yeah, let's, let's make that a, uh, let's make that a yield sign. I agree. I agree with your assessment, Saw. We have to leave the crosswalks, though. Just running pedestrians down with the bus. They're just mowing pedestrians down with them. <laughs> yeah, it's letting the buses leave and go on their routes. I just saw the game like do a freeze. I haven't seen this game actually freeze on my computer before. Just crushes pedestrians. <laughs> That fixed it. Loving this. We we fixed something. Look at that. Almost like I'm a professional streamer and know what I'm doing. <laughs> we fixed the bus routes. Alrighty. We can't do anything about the pedestrians. Everybody wants to ride our buses. Alright, here comes here comes all the buses on their return routes. So let's see how it holds up. Oh, here they go. The queue's getting back up. <laughs> that bus just knocked that taxi out of the way. I don't know. We did get a little queue, but it's it's managing to hold on. And look at all the pedestrian traffic coming from down here, too. Coming from down the sidewalk. Yeah, yeah, the queue held up for the surge of buses that all came and did their return trip. Now, where did we put that bus depot? Loving this, where'd you put it? You done hit it from me. I thought the bus depot was over here somewhere.
bus depot. Is that it? That's it. Taxi depot. That is not it. All right, let's go back. I know that we moved it. I we moved the I almost kind of wish that we had put the uh the bus depot over there it is. Put the bus depot over by the um Well, I don't think we could add any more buses to this bus depot, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how many garages it has. Um, I almost wish that we had put it over by the uh, the airport over there. Huzzah! More buses. And that's going to free up room in our town over here to zone something in. What we're going to zone in, I have no idea, but we have more buses. I like it. I like it. All right. So we unlocked a new milestone on this map. Check that out. Thriving Metropolis. So where does that put us on this map? Ooh, there's only four more milestones left on this. All right. Uh, the loan limit is increased for this one. Loan limit, loan limit. All right. So that's all we have left is loan limits. We've unlocked all buildings on this map. Tiles. That's right. We were getting ready to put a new town in over here. Mm, we'll probably run the town up against this mountainside here. So we'll run the town all around this mountain down here. Unlock that tile as well. Maybe that one. Eh, we'll see. We'll purchase all of that. What else should we purchase while we're here? I don't know if we're going to unlock any of this. And we've unlocked all of this. So we could probably develop this into its own city too. Just fill in everything on the inside of this interstate. Fill in all of this right here. I don't know. I'm kind of happy with this build. I think I might just uh, see what we can do to kind of better it. But I don't know if I'm going to necessarily add too much more. I might come back and do some of the work on here. I know we need to connect this rail line up here. Does this have rail? It does. So if we run the rail along the side of the airport here and connect it in, we would be connected to the railroad. Which was something that we were wanting to do. Because we wanted a train to be able to come and go from the town back there that we're planning. So let's do this. We're going to bring this around here. I need the uh, curved tool. So now there is a rail line going back there. 
And it looks like it's gonna snow. All the mountains are capped. So we'll see how that works out. All right. So we got the rail line running. I'm not following you, loving this. I don't like this curve, though. We're going to fix it. There is a warning. All right, I'll take a look at it. Where do you see the warning? Follow the train route into the valley. Uh, the valley back here or the valley in the area we haven't developed yet? That is because we have not uh, built the town back here yet. The rail line comes to right here because I'm planning on building a rail station right here. But I haven't built the actual town back here yet. The rail line has been placed with the anticipation of putting a cargo and passenger rail station back here so people could ride the train into the city. But also so that way it can transport any all of the um, cargo from the uh, forestry that we're going to be doing back here. We're going to be doing a lot of forestry back here. So I plan on putting some forestry here, 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 and here. And it's all going to be bringing the um, product to the town and then sending it out by rail. Eventually. You know, so I live near a city called Portsmouth in Virginia. And um, in Portsmouth, they have a rail line that runs between the interstate like this. The rail line actually runs between the highway. And <laughs> uh, I saw a video online and it looked so cool. I've been ever so in Portsmouth, we have modern trains, but in the uh, video I saw online, they have the concrete barrier wall that's just, and this is another city, it's not my city, but there's a concrete wall that's um, probably about two to three feet high. It's a retaining wall. It's not for sound, but it's a small retaining wall. Anyway. It's just high enough that you cannot see the railroad tracks, but you can see the old steam engine. And you, so it looks like there's a steam engine driving down the interstate. One of the old uh, steam engines you see from like the, uh, from uh, the 18, 1860s, 1870s and stuff like that. It's awesome. So... If you get a chance, look it up on YouTube. It's hilarious. Well, it's not hilarious. It just, it looks cool. But I was thinking, I was like, man, I really want to run a rail line right through the center of my interstate in one of my builds. So one day we're going to do it. Uh-oh. We were out of coffee. Out of coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. What the hell is that plane doing? We just got buzzed by Maverick over here. Let's 
Cinderville. 15 passengers. I wish I wish we could um I wish we could uh, see who's piloting the airplane. I'd name him Maverick. <laughs> Dude just buzzed the hell out of the camera while we were sitting here. Oh, I can. No, I want to see who's piloting that plane. How do you do that? Check the pilot. How do you check the pilot? Nah, it doesn't show the pilot. Okay. I know we can I know we can rename individuals here in the town. And I know that you can follow people too. So I think in my next build, I, I, I think in my next build, I'm absolutely going to make it so that way we start the build and the very first family that, that comes in, we're going to name them the House of Thunderchild. And that's gonna be the mayor. And we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it. Follow the family tree. We're gonna make that we're gonna make Thunderchild the overlords of the entire city. I approve. Glory to you and your house. Very nice. All right, let's check on the dam. Because we've had the game running a little bit. And I want to see if it's gotten any better. Efficiency is still at 42. I think it's going to hold there. I gotta say, I'm slightly disappointed at the water level situation. I know I made a mega dam, but I've made, excuse me, I've made smaller dams and I haven't been able to get the efficiency higher either on even smaller dams. So, I don't know. This traffic is backing up. Is it backing up because of the accident? There's no stoplight there, is there? See, if we had um, Skylines 1, I would make this road yield to this road. I think there's a way we can do it. I just I need to play with it. So there's a stoplight. There's no stoplight. Road maintenance wise, we're doing kind of okay on road maintenance. Maybe we could uh, flesh some of this out to make this town a little bit bigger right here and we can put in some of that uh, special housing right here. I might do that right now. I, I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of feeling it. That's what I was thinking. That it fits in well. I can change this a little bit. This was originally for our water pumps. We can get rid of that. So let's demo this first. This is for our water pumps. I hate to lose this natural foliage and stuff, but...
delete this little nub. not what I wanted to do. I had the wrong tool selected. Fill that back in. Now, I would normally try to like make it fit in with some of the existing houses here. However, we are trying to unlock buildings and we need to utilize every little square we can to do that. So we're just going to make like we've we've okayed the town council has okayed for special zoning out here. And the rest of the houses are just grandfathered in because they're older. That's more like the old town. And we're going to actually go back in. And we're going to try and... If there's any gaps, we're going to okay zoning of special houses in these gaps. Because the town is becoming more populated. over here We're gonna go ahead and okay some housing here I'm gonna leave that alone for now so we got new construction going in it's gonna boost the population a little bit oh, let's see. I feel like there should be something right there let's take a look Oh yeah. I was zoom on that side there. All right, so there's still some, still some housing and some neighborhood stuff going on there. Oh, we got air pollution alarms here. Sorry about your luck, but I think you guys are going to have to live with it because this thing ain't going nowhere. We could probably move the incineration plant to right here. Overlapping items. There's something over here that's in the way. You can't quite see what it is. Alright, 
Well, or these guys might just have to deal with it for right now until we can figure that out. Um, it could be. I'm inclined to think that it's not necessarily something overlapping. I think we're bugging something. Yeah. We were just bugging it. That's going to help a little. Let's take a look. <coughs> yeah, moving it over will help this a little bit. So, we're okay. Now, with the expansion of this town to the size it is, I think we had a fire department over here. Yeah, we did. Alright, so this town did have a firehouse. Um, I don't think it had a police station. It does not, but it looks like we're okay police-wise over here for now. Healthcare... I think maybe we're going to install a clinic. I think this is, town might be big enough for its own clinic now. And with that clinic, actually, we are going to move it temporarily. And then we're just going to upgrade this road. And then we are going to clean this up a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we're going to take this. Bring this over just like that. There we go. Bring this up just a tad.
There we go. Upgrade the clinic. Uh, I, I would accept, I don't think an upgraded clinic out here um, is necessary. I feel like, uh, let's take a look at the healthcare. I feel like, I feel like we've still got pretty good healthcare coverage out here. Now, what I might do is upgrade it and have it service both this area and the village back here once we build it. So I might put it like somewhere in between. I don't know. <clears throat> but I feel like between the hospital and the clinic, which only has one patient, I think we're okay. We will check on welfare. I think that's a great idea. So, and it looks like the air pollution warnings are disappearing slowly. So, maybe we'll put in some welfare, like you were suggesting. Uh, I think welfare was actually a problem on this map for us. Yeah, so it's definitely a problem back, back in here. Which, <laughs> incidentally enough, that was our low income housing experiment that we did is this neighborhood right here and that's where they need it the most and then uh it looks like of course down here in the city it was uh also an issue so i'm wondering if we were to sneak it in oh almost just can't fit it in there and we're not gonna fit it right there but hmm Well, this town's definitely going to need one. Let's take the school. We're going to put the school right there. Oh, come on. School, you suck. That welfare will take care of that. Now. That's actually helping out over here a little. sneak it in that corner there I wish the welfare office's footprint was smaller I feel like I feel like it should be able to fit into this I mean welfare building I could see how they have a large footprint but I feel like it should be smaller look at all this traffic coming over this bridge here cemetery Enough, a lot of low rent housing over here for colleges hmm I 
guess maybe I could demo this road here and like slip something in. I don't know. And I still need to build the city. Um, uh, city Hall. Which I was kind of thinking about putting in over here. And I know you said to move the fire department. Might rearrange some things here. So let's move this park maintenance over. These are just office buildings. We're going to squash those. Can we move this? We can. Alright, we're going to move park maintenance. Park maintenance does fit in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, let's see, can we fit City Hall right here? And not only can we fit it one way, I think we can fit it two ways. No, that pedestrian path is just right in the way. But we can set it like this. Not sure I like that. It's on uneven ground. It just looks wonky. But I'm losing my patience to deal with it. And I might have to just come back and fix it on another day. Alright. I'm going to go use the restroom. Uh, take care of some... Uh, take a quick bio break. I will be right back. And in the meantime... Uh, get myself a fresh cup of coffee. Uh, loving this. You're used to me doing this by now, so you know the drill. I'm going to go uh, take care of stuff, and um, I have never gone very long. I know you know that, so be right back.
coffee is renewed. I wonder. Hmm. So I was going to try and put I was going to try and see if there was a way to set the helicopter to be district for everything that was undistrict. Like I was going to make a giant district that was the entire map and then build the little districts inside of it and set the fire trucks to work the little districts and then have the helicopter run all of the wooded areas around the city. Um, <clears throat> doesn't appear as though that's going to work. But we got glorious fire coverage. Population is just hit a hundred thousand it's quickly climbing you know what i think i'm gonna do I think I'm going to not build the helicopter pad for the fire department in future builds. So that because I want the fire trucks rolling up and down the street, I don't want the helicopter doing all the work. Riding in the fire truck is like half of my fun playing this game. other thing I was thinking about doing is to get some building diversity here is swapping half these buildings out to be European and the other half to be like every other one so it looks like it's just like different style buildings instead of the same building over and over again for like these brick buildings and stuff We've got accidents out here oh man Dude went through the retaining wall on the dam. Good lord. All right, I think I know have decided what I'm gonna call this uh, city. So I think the other map we had a lot of aurora borealis and stuff like that so i might just go back to aurora county for the other one
it's snowing, it's snowing.
plenty of open jobs, so there's not enough people. <coughs> All right. Yeah, I've been back for a little bit, but you didn't miss much. You didn't miss much. I uh, played around a little bit with the electrical grid, but ended up deleting what I had done. Because I didn't like what I had come up with. We're going to name this the Cooper Township. It's just a small town. And then, let's see here, combustion engine van. Not worry about all of this. Roadside parking fee. Oh, we need to do that in the city. We're definitely doing that in the city. Heavy traffic ban. I might do that on some of the major city roads in here, too. All right.
Oh, hey. Bedford. And then this small town here. For sure, we need more schools. It's just a matter of getting them placed. There is a school in the new neighborhood that we just built. Uh, you just might have missed it. plant did we have an oil industry out here I guess we did yeah and I just forgot to place it so the question is because I know that I have a lot of jobs is do we build it Upgraded the police department a little. I'm not going to add this extension building onto it yet, though, because I'm just not quite ready for it. But this township over here does not have a police department. I think this one, I think Cooper does have their own police department though. They don't have their own either. But that's okay because we can give them one. It's not like we don't have the money to do it. Now they have their own police department. Um, upgrade the police station. 
upgrading it's going to make it cost more and i think that the six police cars are enough to patrol this little town i really do i, I don't see the need to upgrade it because this police station's only servicing this small town um There's only 1,300 residents. Where's the info on this? I thought there was a more detailed info screen for this. town might need oh it has a post office we got that on the graphs let's look at that that's a good idea no it's company profitability crime plummeted <laughs> when we upgraded that police station it just meow. what is what do we got down here we got a buried line we do we have a buried line going nowhere let's take care of that you know what while we have plenty of money, I think, because I'm tired of the battery depleted warning here, that from this broken, even though it's fully charged, we have the broken battery station, it's just glitched. I'm gonna delete it and rebuild it because it's not gonna cost us, a, I mean, it'll cost us money, but we've got plenty, we got oogles of money. So we're gonna delete the battery and we're gonna reinstall it. installed we are gonna put the two diesel generators on the side and there's our two diesel generators so now we won't get that warning that the battery is depleted anymore additional battery bank we will add that in there we go so we fixed that and the battery is charging back up. So that is good. Hmm. You know what else I was thinking about doing? I don't know if we're going to have the room. I might have to actually delete this battery again. Is I think I'm going to make this a three lane asymmetrical road with the extra lane being coming into town up until it gets to this big road here. I feel like that might help with the traffic flow. I agree that the dam is the bottleneck, but I also think that there's also a bottleneck here coming into the city. But there's not much I can do about the dam because I can't upgrade the road that's on the dam. It's not an option. I would, if I could. 
I wish I could. I wish I could upgrade the dam all the way across. But the game won't let me. Ugh. But I upgraded the road to give two lanes all the way up to this uh, um, collector here. And I feel like we're gonna we're gonna change the stoplight right here. We're gonna see how that works. I feel like the traffic flow is better. It's not fixed, but it is better. Maybe with Anarchy. That's a good suggestion, and I'm actually I actually looked at Anarchy earlier today. So, but look, I think it worked because we've cleared a lot of that backed up traffic off of the dam. So I think switching the asymmetrical road here really helped out a lot because now it's able to flow into the city. Look at that. Managed to fix another traffic problem. Like a pro. <laughs> the pro that I am definitely not. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. We're still having traffic problems over here. I don't like that. did it again anyway oh that's because I have the wrong road selected but it still did it let's take this and fear rider hello how are you all is well with you, I trust and hope, and that you're doing okay. not perfect but it's better hope you're doing well fear rider i'm glad to see i'm always glad to hear and see people now uh we had talked about a parking issue and i'm almost half tempted good i'm glad you're doing well i'm almost tempted to make a this a, a district here to make the parking on the street paid But I don't know. All right. Well, 
I think we've decided to name this Bedford, but I think what I'm going to do, um, this city, uh, we're going to name it, we're going to keep Bedford, I liked Bedford, but I'm trying to find the, the zone name, do you see it anywhere, oh, there it is, oh, but since it's got the dam, and the water flow is so high up here. I think we're going to call it Bedford Falls. And uh, even though there's no waterfall, we do have the damn waterfall. So we're going to keep Bedford Falls as the name of this city. And then... Um, I like that. I'm really pleased that we got that traffic situated. We still have traffic coming from the other direction, but that's regular city traffic, so they'll have to get over themselves. Now, what I might do is get rid of this stoplight here. And there goes all of that traffic. Um, heights due to higher water level. Hey, welcome. Glad to see you. Um, heights due to higher water level. Oh, so, uh, Bedford Heights. Is that what you're suggesting? I'm, I'm trying to catch up with the chat. My, my apologies. Yeah, and, and, and you know what? It's a good idea, and I've actually been hoping that to get to get some uh, chat going to help uh, to get the chat to actually help um, build or, or name the, the, the city. So I like it. I'm going to go with it. I agree. So originally, the uh, water, of course, started in these two rivers here and uh, flowed down here. But the difference in the water level... You do have a massive water battery now. That is true. The difference in the water level was because we this is a man-made lake. We actually made this lake for this map. You know, this lake did not come with this map. We uh, built the dam here and made the lake fill up in order to... And the whole city was built around the construction of the dam. So uh, I do like heights because I do agree and there's a lot of mountain ranges and stuff all around us so i do like bedford heights we are going to go with that and um the reason i am putting an emphasis on naming some of these uh towns is because i have a couple different cities and i want to name the different connections so for example when we're dealing with the airports, uh, these city connections that you see here going to other cities, I wanted to name the airport connections uh, instead of Snyderville, like I wanted to name it, you know, Prospero's hometown. So I wanted to name all of the city connections to uh, the maps, the cities that I have actually built. So that way all my cities would be interconnected, even though they're on different maps and different builds. I was going to make it so that way all of the roads and the, all of the air connections all connected to all my different builds. So it would make it fun. <laughs> Potential energy is strong. Yes. Yes. Just Can you just imagine if this dam breaks? Uh, one of these days, I'm actually going to delete the dam and just let all the water wash this town completely away. 
just dynamite the dam and just let it go. <laughs> the carnage that will ensue. Oh my goodness. Uh, and I was teasing around <laughs> about actual region play one day. Yes, 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 indeed. So, um, hmm. I am really, I'm really sorely tempted. Like, I love the city, um, but I think we've done what we've come to do on this particular map. I know there's a lot of work that this particular map still needs. We fixed the dam traffic, so that's really good. But I think I don't have it in me to build the town that we were going to build back in here today. Um, but we need to add the town in here still. I need to make an international airport instead of just the airport. Uh, we need to fill in a bunch of the farmland all around here. So I think I do love this town, but I think I'm ready to move on to the other, to the next map that we've been working on because there's several cities we've been working on. And I think we're going to go and look at one of the other builds. Or I'm halfway tempted. I actually like doing two or three small airports near each other over the massive international airport. I could definitely see how that would work. Um, all I have to say about that is because I definitely feel like, you know, sometimes you really prefer uh, uh, City Skylines 1. Their airport DLC is a lot of fun to like actually design your own airport. Um, so it's one of the DLCs that I'll be looking forward to the most because in Skylines 1, even though you have the DLCs, you have the regular, cust the, not custom, but you have the regular prepackaged assets for people who don't have the DLC. You just get like a little airport module thing that you just put in your city and you're done. But um, that, I feel like that's what we have here for a lot of Skylines 2, and we're just waiting for them to expand on it. So I'm really looking forward to a lot of the DLC expansions that will inevitably come with this game. So, uh, being able to uh, redesign airports. In the meantime, I definitely understand why you would like um, having your airports being uh, building a couple different ones. Uh, but even this small airport is able to handle all of my traffic. But um, actually, I don't think you were here. Uh, have you tried any custom maps? Not yet. I don't think you were here when we were working on our bus line. So. As far as tourist traffic goes, we've got tourist traffic completely handled. Um, we have the airport, and there's a bus line going to the bus station and back. And then we have the subway system that is running all in the underground here. Um, and then uh, to top that off, uh, the subway has a connection right by the bus route. So there is a bus route that goes to the college town over here to this little town right here. There's a bus route to this town, bus route to and from the airport, one to the uh, castle back here, and then um, one to and from the city over here and the city connection back here. And it all culminates into this little bus station right here where we've got hundreds and hundreds of pedestrians all coming to the bus station to get to and from where they need to go and then down into the subway and then they ride the subway to everywhere else in the city so uh we've got we've got tourist public transportation stuff on point so it's we're good on that for now uh we did we did play a little bit around with a mod uh off stream um, but I have not done any mods on stream yet. And the main reason, of course, being is today I was focusing in on the new assets and trying to get them in on some of the maps. So with that being said, we're going to actually save this. 
And instead of doing mountain stream build, this is going to be uh, Bedford Heights stream build. All right. And uh, I'm going to be cleaning out a bunch of these um, other games, all these saved games. So, um, like, so this, the, uh, the stream builds I'm going to be saving, but I'm going to be cleaning out all these auto saves and all of these test ones that I've done here. So we're going to, uh, delete a lot of this, get this cleaned up. Um, so Bedford Heights stream build. Uh, yeah, so there is a bunch of new zoning, um, and new buildings that have been added today, uh, for patch day. They have added in a bunch of stuff. Um, for uh, people who uh, it's it's not necessarily I get I mean I don't know is it a DLC I thought it was just a uh, I thought it was just a regular everyday update for people who had the uh, for people who had the um, what's it called not the when they released the game when they when they opened the game up to sell. They opened up a regular version and like a, 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 a big edition, the gold edition or the collector's edition or whatever. Uh, people who had the, uh, the, the, uh, the larger edition set, they got the deluxe edition. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Words are so freaking hard tonight. I need more coffee. But uh, the deluxe edition, uh, people who had the deluxe edition got the new stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. So. Uh, let's load into a different city. So we have Bedford Heights. Um, let's, uh, this is the new city that we were building the other night because I got bored. So let's load back into this game real quick. All right, so this is, this is our city here, and, um, the city of Townsville. All right, um, until we have a better name for it, what we are going to do is we have an air connection here. Um, now, um, our other city, what did, oh my goodness, I gotta learn my city names. Bedford Heights. So Bedford Heights had a rail, an air, and a road connection. So this one has rail, and I think there's an air connection here too. So... Bedford Heights All right, and then We'll make this Bedford Heights as well So that takes care of that and then we have the road that goes out that way so I don't think no, nah, there's no mountains in the background on this map. So we'll just pretend. We'll just pretend. Bedford Heights and Bedford Heights. There we go. So we have connected Bedford Heights to 
um, Blackwood. So we're going to save that. We're going to keep the name string build. So that way I don't accidentally load the game and work on it when I'm uh, offline. Blackwood stream. Blackwood City stream build. Um, Palo Seco dry stick. Not sure. Okay. And then we're going to switch back to Bedford Heights. Oh my god, that coffee is so good. Oh, I, can, I love that coffee. All right. We're going to make Blackwood down this way is there no because there's no rail connection that way hmm name it black water in the honor of red dead oh i love red dead i love red dead i've actually done one or two red dead streams uh, not not very many but i need to do more um, we're going to, I think, I think I'm going to run a rail line this way. I feel like we have the interstate. There's just, oh wait, there is a rail line going down this way. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to take this one. Whoops. Come on now. Penrith. We're going to name this Black Blackwood City. Alright, that'll take care of that connection there. And then where is the... Oh, that was the rail line. So this one will be Blackwood. And then the air connection. Blackwood City. There we go. Save the game. Butamus. Alright. That takes care of those two stream builds. Oh, and look at that. What are the odds of that? That. Oh. Did I just mess up? <sighs> We're going to pretend like you guys didn't see that. Yeah, that never happened on stream. You guys saw nothing. You guys saw nothing. Actually, actually, let me see something. Alt, control, delete. Open task manager. CPU. We are using only 37% of my computer's computing power. So, I think I have, even with the stream, all of the programs I use with my stream... City Skylines 2 running at the highest graphic settings on the highest speeds. <laughs> CPU usage is at 40%. Memory is at 37. So <laughs> we we technically have enough power. To open up two instances of City Skylines at the same time. And have both cities running <laughs> at the same time. 
and I would do it if I only if if I trusted the uh, uh, um, if I trusted the computer to be able to handle that. <laughs> Multi boxing city skylines too. Yes, have the two cities running uh, to simultaneously. But um, I totally, I totally screwed up. And I uh, accidentally just saved over one of the cities. Unfortunately. So. I wasn't paying attention and I think I saved over one of the cities. So I have Bedford Heights. And Bedford Heights, this is the one. This is this one right here. This is Bedford Heights right here. And then... Uh, here's Blackwood. So I accidentally saved... I accidentally saved Bedford Heights over top of Blackwood. Unfortunately. I do still have the original... Right here. But I'm not gonna bore you guys with going in and changing all of the city names again. I will do that off stream another time. So... Uh, and the reason I know that I did it is because the populations are exactly the same between the two cities, and they shouldn't be. The population here is 113, and the population on the other one is 104. So that's how I know I accidentally just saved over everything I did. Fortunately, I still have the original saves, and the only thing that's different between the two is just the naming of the cities, which is fine. I will go back off stream i will fix the names and it'll be another thing so uh i think what i am going to do is i loving this are you feeling up to a new map let's see it's two o'clock if i started a new map i could probably get it done by 8 a.m eight or nine a.m so if we did a new map I definitely, I'm def, I'm feeling one. Um, I don't want to, because I'm not feeling like working on this map right now, and I'm not feeling like working on my other, on my bigger city. Um, I am feeling a map, and I'm thinking about doing it within the confines of the rules of the game, rather than doing the uh, unlocked version. So. I definitely want to name everything from the ground up, though. Can use Anarchy and Road Edition mod. What is the Road Edition mod? Let's look. Getting latest updates for your mods. You are not able to browse mods while the update is in progress. All right, let's take a look and see what mods we have. Do, 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 do. It's mod time. All right. Let's take a look. All right, so I already, like I said, I already looked at and played a little bit with some mods, but I don't know how to use the Anarchy mod. It was not a mod I used in Skylines 1, so I'm unfamiliar with it. Um, I do want to get rid of Tree Controller. I, did, I tried that, and I did not like it. We'll need the two libraries for sure as a component. Probably, probably. So here's what I'm thinking. I want the mod that lets me put a line of trees all in a straight line down a road or something like that. I want that one. I don't know what it's called, but I want it. Yeah. Uh, yep, the line tool. All right, let's look at that line. Let's search line and see what happens. Um, I know move it is a is a big mod a lot of people like uh, for trees etc parks and tool let me see here I tried tree controller but it didn't have that line tool let's look at it yeah 
Yep, this is what I wanted. So, required unified library, which I think I have. So we're gonna get this mod. I was wondering how long we would take to get uh, radio stations. <clears throat> Alright, this mod aims to add features to improve existing ones to games, radio play track, custom radios, radio add ons, radio mod. Um, <laughs> it doesn't say how the mod works, though. Because if I can make it so it'll play my uh, stream music that I get from uh, my favorite YouTube artist, if I could get it to plays it through the game, I could shut down. That's another thing. That's something I have running in the background. I while I I am bringing in YouTube, so uh, that would be great if I could uh, stop doing that. What is historical start? I love history. Enables more historical city building when using the game's unlocking progression system by unlocking from the start, rail, shipping, industry, farming. Oh, I love this. We could build a rural town, have it expanding outward and getting bigger and bigger on the inside. Oh, this is, I like this mod. Oh, I think I like this mod. I think we're going to get this. Yeah, I think we're going to do this, and then we're going to build a, a, a role-play city. Alright, I think that's enough mods. I think if we load any more, we're just going to just be begging for trouble. Sunset Beach... Glastonbury, Roanoke. <gasps> oh, that'd be fun. Get the desert one. I mean, I can, I can get it. I don't, I can't guarantee I would play it though. I am not a big, fa look, the fat man does not like deserts. <laughs> the fat man doesn't do well in deserts. I, I am a temperate zone guy. I do not do 80 degrees or above seventies <laughs> or below my, my operating temperature is 60 to 40 degrees. Okay. The, uh, Fahrenheit. <laughs> I'm a cold weather polar bear. <laughs> I can't guarantee I'll play on the, on the, on a desert map, but I would imagine it would be a great map to put a uh, solar farm on. You like how detailed it is, though. Let's go look. Let's see here. We can look at it and showcase it, but I just I can't guarantee that I will can't guarantee that I will play it. It requires more mods. It requires three mods. <sighs> Total size. That's huge. Nah. I don't... I, I'm sorry. I, I don't think it's for me. It looks beautiful, but... Uh, that might be a mod that I... That might be a map that I try out offline. The last thing I want to do is crash the stream right now. <laughs> You're right loving this <laughs> we're, we're, we're trying to go at least one stream without crashing the, the stream <laughs> just 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 for once all right oh this this 
Fort Bragg. That might be interesting. And Magnolia County. <gasps> oh, I love City Planner Plays. Oh, I love this. He's one of the best YouTubers. And I love watching him build his map. Oh. All right. Traffic light one. Uh, the mod or the map? Let me look. I don't want to play on flat land. Right traffic light. All right, let's look. Traffic. I got an interchange test map. <laughs> um, Veshuda, uh, are you talking about City Planner Plays? Because he did load Magnolia County map onto... It, it is here. I just saw it. That's what set me off on him. So, let me, let me type in Magnolia. No, the traffic lights mod. Yes! The traffic lights mod from Skylines 1, for sure. Move it, interchange, test map, city player plays, downtown music. He's got his own music, too. I'm going to have to check that out. Sadly, not on release date. Yeah, I'm going to have to check out some of... Uh, I got to find out. Uh, DCMA free... Oh, free music for streaming. I'm definitely going to check this out and see if... And if I like it, we might use his music in the next stream. Because uh, he's, he's one of the best city builder guys i've ever seen all right we've spent enough time looking at mods i think i think we need to do a build so i didn't see all right show me all maps all maps 141 maps available i don't want a map that already has a city layout on it I want to build my own. This one looks interesting. It already comes with this like roundabout thing going on. And the rest don't have pictures. Tenochtitlan. Yes! Yes! The city of my ancestors. Ha! Ah. Five hundred twenty-nine tiles one though. Yeah, nah, I'm good. I don't need 520. We, we have 460 some odd. You want an extra 100 tiles? I mean, come on now. Don't be greedy, loving this. Don't be greedy. <laughs> All right. We started a map the other day. Let's go back. We did a map the other day. I can't remember if this is the map or not. I think this is just one uh, sweeping plains is this map.
Yeah, the date. That's what I was uh, looking at. I was looking at both the date and the picture. I was trying to find the map where we had kind of... I think it was this one. I'm not sure. But I might not have saved it. I think I might have just logged out at the end of the stream. I th Was that one of the days where I had to log off because I got sick? No, this is it. This is the one that we were talking about. We made another dam here. Hmm. Alright, and this is this one, what did we name this one? This one was Aurora Valley. We'll save this one so we remember it is a stream build. Alright. There we go, and this is the 500k save, so we're gonna do this. Uh, you do this on the, yeah, yes, yes, yes. All right, here we go, loving this. I know we already did this once, I know it sucks. We're gonna do it again. Um, I hope I don't lose you, but if I do, I'm sorry. But, <clears throat> yes, we already had a city on this map. Yes, now, here's the rules of this one. All right. Everything is unlocked from the start. We can place anything we want, but there's no milestones. All the milestones have already been given to us, and I purposely saved the map after burning down all of the starting money. So we starting the game with 494,000 credits. Um, that's all the money we get for the entire game. We are not going to get any money from milestones because they've already been done. We have just the starting money all buildings unlocked right from the get-go only the starting money you get when you start the game so if the economy goes kaput you'll lose the game it's a challenge build we're going to do it but I wanted to do this and uh, I want to do it with the uh, knowledge I have because now I can uh, do some of the uh, road layouts I want to be able to plan actually building some of the seaside uh, cities zoning and stuff like that so we're gonna do it um i think this is what i'm gonna work on loving this for today and tomorrow we're going to do we're gonna try and build rebuild the city that we had here but we're gonna we're gonna change some things up we're gonna change some things do some things differently so with that being said I'm gonna jump in quick and easy if my game stops break oh <sighs> We have, we have broken the game. One of the mods has broken the UI of this game. <sighs> oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen. We have our first crash so we're gonna reload it it's not a big deal we managed to one of the mods broke city skylines we're going to go back in and try and uh reload into it um game's loading in now so uh so we're gonna play city skylines um i don't know which mod it is and it's gonna take us some time to to fix it so uh we'll have to figure out like loading each mod one at a time just to figure out like which one it was that crashed it so um 
that's going to uh, be a thing. And uh, that's an offline thing, I think, one time. So we'll go in. We're going to do the challenge build. Download the Skive mod. I, I might. It gives you the info. Yeah, but I think... Um, I think that's something that I really needed to do offline. I hadn't planned on playing with mods today. I had planned on just showcasing all of the new stuff that came out. Um, so I think I'm going to uh, build the city in the challenge mode and then I'll play with mods offline to uh, try and uh, get the mods that we downloaded working, get them loading in the correct order and everything like that. And then once we have, once we have that done, I'll uh, load the mods into the game hopefully tomorrow at some point because I'll have like five hours before I start streaming to actually play with mods to figure it out. So, same map, no mods. Here we go. So, uh, once again, it's challenge build. The city is unlocked right from the get-go. Uh, but instead of having all the money from all the milestones, we have purposely gotten rid of all the money. So we have to build it from the ground up. Um, ooh, anarchy seems to be still here. supposed to be this road my bad I'm messing it up already Now I am purposely not going to the water and the main reason I am doing that is because of the new content that just released. I don't want to go to the water because I want to zone waterfront properties right from the get go of this build versus the other one where we were trying to add it in after the fact and it just was not working. So I think we're going to make this second Nope, 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 nope. We're definitely gonna have to put it right here. Got two sets of music going. Uh, I didn't notice that. That was annoying. iWax recharging page. not developing waterfront all right
changed my mind because I'm going to develop this whole corner here differently. All right, so we got this neighborhood here. It's going to need water because apparently the peasants like water. Saying why are two sounds where it comes to yeah. some leveling who dropped that bridge before he was ready the man should be shot how that looks. There we go. That bridge looks level. Beautimus. Love it. Credits one 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 new bridge. I'm not sure what you're talking about. take this and then we're going to level this out. Oh, look at that. It already was the same height. All right, we'll come back here. Right, we're going to go from right about here and we're going to come across.
There we go. We should be able to put roads under that bridge now. Which was my intent, was to be able to get a road underneath here. And then once I get the roads put in, I can finalize that and bring it down. I feel like... Yeah, that bridge is wonky. What a horrible architect you are. deal with that on the back end. Just enough, just enough for the water treatment plant. <laughs> it's gonna cost us so much money though. How much is the upkeep on it? Oh, it's 120 a month. Oh, I don't, I don't wanna pollute. I don't wanna pollute. I wanna try not to pollute the waterway right from the get go, but I don't think I'm gonna have a choice. <laughs> um. You make me sad. So be it. I don't think we have a choice. I think if we place it, we're not going to have money to actually flesh out the rest of this. And get to get ourselves to a profitable level. We're going to have no choice but to pollute right from the beginning. medium road I want the contour lines on bring you your road up this way hmm. I actually meant for the road to come and follow this line here There we go. How's the new mods? Uh, Cookie M73. Good morning or good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is to you. We actually are not running a new mod um, today. We did try to look at some of the mods, but they immediately broke the UI. So we're going to wait for them to become a little bit more fleshed out. I'm going to try. I don't know which of the mods that we tried to get broke. So, until I know which ones exactly broke the UI, um, I didn't want to fiddle around with it on stream. On the third tab on the road, you get a new bridge too. Yep. Mm -hmm. I will... Uh, we're, we're definitely going to look at that. Right now, I'm just kind of setting the city up. So uh, basically, Cookie, um, what we're basically doing is um, so 
I'm I'm sure individual mods work. The problem is, is we tried to load a bunch in, um, and I don't know which one of those bunch broke. And I didn't want to play, um, figure out which mod is broken right in the middle of a stream. So I decided to work on the uh, getting the mods, figuring out which one was broken off stream. And in the meantime, just enjoy building while I was streaming. And then, uh, so we're just going to focus in on um, putting in the new um, zones and assets and stuff like that. And then uh, I'm going to work on the mods off stream to try and get them fixed. For in time for tonight's stream. For the mod, for the stream that I'm going to do this evening. Well, there's only so many times people are going to actually sit there and watch you crash your stream live. <laughs> so, and and I've already I've already proven how good I am at crashing streams to 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 loving this so many times it's not even funny. So, <laughs> we've already proven that we're capable of crashing streams. Now we're going to try and see if we can uh keep the stream up and running this time. <laughs> That is the wrong road. not right neither come off it now I am trying so hard to fight my OCD with this stuff breaking like this it's so hard not to get all mad about it Who left that graveyard right in the way? All right, we'll move the graveyard out of the way. I know it's still technically in the way, but we're gonna put it right there. change this out real quick these are gonna be this is gonna be our shopping center because this is where I just like to put it
Now, I think one thing that I'm going to do differently that I don't usually do is I'm going to try and put the train station in right from the get-go. And I'm going to try and connect it in right here. This is probably a mistake. It might even be a fatal mistake, but I'm going to try it. Because I really want the train station to be close to the town. Maybe don't fit. Care with the tunnel. Well. The idea is, is that I want to get I think you're right. I think it might be just too close. I really need to put it right here. And I think we can afford the one tile. That messed it up. There we go. Six lane route out. I'm gonna run this all the way up to where that castle's gonna be. I 
gotta get this laid out quickly before I run out of money. That was the wrong road. around perfect all right we're definitely gonna do industry like you recommended I think what I'm gonna do is uh, bring the industry back over here off the water in the past I've usually made my rail yard out here but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think the rail yard is going to extend to right here eventually. I don't know. It's really all just going to depend. I could also put the rail yard just like way off on the side of the map somewhere. Yes, the wind is... um blowing from right to left on the map right now. Electricity. I had placed that. I was trying to um, do some shenanigans earlier, but doesn't matter now because it didn't work. Sounds like some Friday the 13th stuff right there. Some kind of like Halloween music. I feel like I'm going to get murdered. I gotta look behind me over my shoulder. That's as much road construction as I could do on this side without doing the waterfront, which I do plan on doing the waterfront shortly. That'll be very time consuming.
so close. Hmm. Now I am gonna want this to eventually be commercial, but we're going to do our first. You know what? I think we're gonna have to do the waterfront now while this is filling in. All right. There's two ways to do this, and I'm not very good at one of them. But we're gonna try. Damn it. It's the uh, snapping that's doing that. Oh, good. I'm glad you got some coffee. Coffee is good. We're doing boring work. that I got that to work. <laughs> All right.
Deletus Bridges. <clears throat> I can't believe this is cooperating. I've never been able to do this without terraforming before. I wonder if this is a patch thing. I really, I really wonder. Loving this. I, I wonder if they made it. I wonder if they made it so that way the uh, pedestrian paths do not require you to be on land. Oh, they did. They made it easier to make the quay walls so I don't have to do terraforming. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a quality of life fix. I can't believe it. Holy moly. Oh, I am so excited. Oh my God. I know that I'm being a complete nerd and I'm geeking out on stream, but you have no idea what a quality of life fix that is. And they didn't even say that they were doing it in the patch notes. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my God. It just made this game like five times better for me. Holy crap. We're going to fix this in a minute. In the meantime, I'm going to keep working this. Um, so, uh, Cookie, they, they, they used to be when you tried to do um, the, the, uh, the quay wall method. There's two methods. There, before patch, there was two methods. One was you had to be really, really good at getting this uh, row just up against the water line the other method was to terraform is to raise the land on one side put the land just at sea level on the other and then get it to build the wall manually but they they changed the rules for the roads so these roads you used to uh you couldn't lay them in the water you could not lay a road in the water they have changed it so you can and you can now put the uh, pedestrian path right into the water. Um, whereas before, it wouldn't let you. So now we can build the, uh, the quay walls just the way that we want. See, I could just... Uh-oh. Why is it not letting me now? It let me do it a minute ago. Now it's not letting me do it. We jinxed it. Oh, no, we jinxed it. I thought they had fixed it. Oh, that sucks. What did we do wrong? I feel like... Insta jinx. That's exactly what happened. I was apparently just really good at doing the side. I thought that they had fixed. I was so excited. That sucks. Ah. I know that I can elevate the road. But it's still not going to fix it. Yeah, it might be an anarchy thing.
that's what it was it was anarchy so somehow we turned anarchy on and then turned it back off again that's what it was because i have downloaded the anarchy app which is fine because it works too <laughs> So it was the Anarchy mod, but that's fine. That works. I like it. I don't know. I don't know how I turned anarchy on or off again. I don't know how I did it. I don't know what I did. I did something. Welcome to my life. But it still makes it easier to design the city the way I want it. So I'm not complaining. I know it sounds like I was, but I'm not. So at least we know that anarchy works. <laughs> I didn't think that I had that mod on. So. I need the S tool for this. Still coming out beautiful. There we go. Now we're just going to run the streets right into that. So, I hadn't realized it. So, it was anarchy. It wasn't a fix that they did. It doesn't matter. It still looks good. It looks like I actually knew what I was doing. <laughs> All right, we're going to do the opposite side of the river now. I'll try and be quick this time. Somebody put us at a bad angle.
Yeah. Close enough for government work. Yeah, we'll have to be careful about flooding, but that's okay. Coastal flooding is part of the game. It's part of life. They didn't want water in their lives. They shouldn't have lived on the coast, right? into the water. much much better A little landscaping fix that right off
Had to eyeball it, but I finally got it. Alright, I'm going to turn snapping back on. Fix that road there. And there we go. Oh, we've got both sides of the water lined the way I need it. We're going to fix these roads and then we're going to zone in some of the waterfront property. Front property in All done, and we're making a profit too. Not bad, not bad. Minor flooding over here. Probably need to take a quick look at that. Um, are you with Anarchy activated? I believe Anarchy is running. I do believe Anarchy is running. Oh, what the hell? I didn't zone this in. Hmm. Definitely don't want any of this zoned in right here.
I activated there. Turn off anarchy. Yeah, it's off. All right. I think that when this gets up and running, I'm going to put the bus station right here. Or I mean right here. Or maybe, maybe not. Because I'm going to put a parking garage right there. But... Industry needs to get up and running. Uh, not in a main line. Well, no, not in the main line per se. I wanted to make it like right near the shopping area, but also next to where eventually I'm going to put... I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But you know what? We put this train station in and we never finished it. So I am going to finish the train station. Because it's just costing us money. It's not even operating. People can now get to and from the train station into the city. Although why that cargo train decided to go through the train station, I have no idea. I think what I'm going to do is turn this, these two tiles right here into a this uh, little peninsula into like a transportation hub for the passenger um, ship line, the cruise ships. No vehicles. Well, you'll be all right for now. Let's see here. We don't have enough money to purchase what we need to purchase. Um, all right, we're gonna cut all of this out. We don't need it right away. We do need the rail yard and we need it ASAP. I guess for some reason I thought the other cities would have trains going to and from. I mean, the other cities send their own cabs and buses to my town. Why not their own trains? Uh, it looks like it's not happening. I'm turning the train station off to save money for now. Until I'm ready to purchase the rail yard. In the meantime, we need to set up some sort of cash. Um, we got about a thousand per hour in-game hour coming in got the speed turned on we're actually going to kick the speed up a notch we're going to go for the highest speed and then the other thing that we're going to do is i think i really want to get a 
If I were to buy these tiles, how much are we talking here? 60. Hundred thousand. I need an industry zone. This will get me my industry. All right. I don't want to lose where this road is placed. They did three lane. So I'm going to take this. Fix this highway.
and there was much rejoicing. Hey, Curly Boys. Thank you very much for the follow. I do appreciate it. There is very much rejoicing whenever that happens. You are amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, to be fair, though, you did scare the crap out of me. I was not expecting that sound effect to go off. Crowley couldn't tell. I jumped in my seat. We're going to have to do these one at a time, I think not cooperating because over here the height is wider than it is down here so we're gonna bring them up to... so we're gonna connect these and bring them up Turn off the double lane. We'll just go with the one and connect them in. I guess it would help if I um, was using the right tool. Has the wrong road connected. I think the more traffic lights is the more traffic jam congestion. Um, sometimes. Sometimes that is true. There we go. Interstate's hooked back up. It's not going to interfere with the rail lines. And when we put our port in that we're going to put in right here, people will be able to get off the interstate right here to go to the port. Looks like we got a slight slight high rent problem in our town what do you think loving this <laughs> only a little bit <laughs> let's take a look at it let's see if we can't get it fixed <clears throat> It ain't nothing a little low low income housing can't fix. Question is, where are we going to put it? I think I'm going to put it right here. I lied, I'm putting it right here.
where, where can my parking garage be? at that it almost fit oh almost like i had almost planned it <laughs> that's okay we don't want to put that there anyway So I'm trying to plan out this uh, shopping mall area. Two hundred thousand is needed for that. Mm. It's off by one little grid, and I don't like that. We're pulling in 3,000 per hour, which is great. Population is kind of still a thing. We're going to change that. We're going to get a... I knew that that was probably a waste, but I needed it. All right. We're going to get the forestry industry up and running.
so in previous builds I had actually built a small town back there in that little bay and loving this you know what I'm talking about I would built the town and then built the industry around the town this time I'm gonna build the industry and then try and build the town around it <laughs> oh no, it's starting to snow. And we don't have road maintenance services. And then there we go. One forestry industry has been set up. We've got to finish working on the zoning for it. So, I don't know if anyone knows this about me, but I am a huge history buff. And I am just having the worst urge to watch some war movies. Like, oh, I've got half a mind to just really start a marathon of, um... what's it called oh um w of watching a, a bunch of war movies but in in chronological order from like the order of events in which they happened in <laughs> and uh i'm gonna fly my nerd flag here just a little there's one i, I i'm almost tempted to watch um And don't judge me too harshly, but I'm I, I'm almost tempted to uh, watch uh, um, I want I'm all, e even though it's not exactly historically accurate, I I'm tempted to watch Downton Abbey or not Downton Abbey, but uh, Titanic, followed by Downton Abbey, <laughs> and then. Once it gets to uh, World War One, uh, stopping 
and then watching all the World War One movies in chronological order. And then, uh, once, uh, once World War One is over, watching the rest of Downton Abbey, and then starting, um, uh, the, the Road to War. Oh, God. What? No, what is the name of the movie? It's a mini series. It came out back in the 80s. Herman Walk's book. What is it called? Oh, my goodness. Not Walk, Wook. I'm, I'm sorry. I am, I am bad with non Anglo names, and I don't mean to be. It's just lack of life experience, I guess. Um. Uh, his second book is called War and Remembrance. The Winds of War. Uh, the Winds of War, that's what it is. So it's The Winds of War and then another miniseries called War and Remembrance and it's just so good. And then just watching, like, Saving Private Ryan and Pearl Harbor. And just watching everything in chronological order. That's just one long epic marathon that just takes years to get through. <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to finish it with some movies because you'd have to, you'd have to stop the movie. Because the movie progressed past the time period that you were watching. I knew it was going to do that. As soon as I got it, I said, I know as soon as I drop this, it's going to do it. And sure enough, it did. <sighs> and I have an internal monologue that I realize that you guys are just not party to. That's one reason why I'm not a professional streamer. So anyway, um, I would definitely say that if anyone out there was interested, I definitely recommend Winds of War and War and Remembrance. I will say that it does heavily feature events from the Holocaust, so I would definitely say um, it is not for the weak stomach. So... I would definitely say, and, and definitely don't watch it with the kids around, because anything from that time period is just rough. But it's 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 good if you love history and you you love um, just studying it and everything like that. It's great for that. So, and that's me. Before before I went into fire and EMS, I actually. Um, very early, I mean, like, I was still in high school at the time, but I was actually taking college classes with the idea, as misguided as it was, to look into becoming a history teacher. I'm certainly glad I didn't, though. Because... When you start talking history, inevitably people try to bring up politics. And there's a big difference between history and politics. And most people can't separate the two and look at things objectively. So, best just to keep them separate.
old mill ruins. So I'm going to put this old mill down here where I can remember to get it later. <clears throat> it's going to be coffee time soon. Everybody who has managed to uh, stick around for all of my ramblings about history, thank you for your patience. I shall, I shall strive to try to remember to keep on task for the stream here. I think what I am going to do, loving this, I think I am going to keep focusing on building as much industry as I can to try and generate as much money as quickly as I can. With the idea, whoopsies, what did I do? I done messed something up. With the idea that the more money we bring in, the quicker we can get the build up and running. I realize you've already said you know I gotta say you're probably gonna make the most valuable um, stream supporter award because a you're here every time I stream and B you're always participating in chat and C your health you you putting up with me doing the same build three times in a row <laughs> I don't know. Slightly different each time. I don't know how you're putting up with it. I have no idea. <laughs> but, you know what? But each time I build it, I get a little bit better. <laughs> Every time we build it, I get slightly better at building it. Rat.
at some road mathematics there. You see, 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 see? That's the planning right there. Road mathematics in place there. All right. We're pulling in 8,000 per hour. That's okay, loving this. I do appreciate you uh, watching and everything, and I totally get it. Uh, as, as a guy with a back injury, I totally get it. You go lay down and uh, enjoy. Keep watching. I shall, I shall strive to be as entertaining as always. <laughs> Oh, I know you're still watching. I understood what you're saying. I was just... It's all good. Hmm.
Road maintenance is very important. Importante. Um, we need to place it. We're gonna give road maintenance a temporary home. And with that, um, I'm not going anywhere, but I am going to run to take a quick bio break. So I will be right back. In the meantime, don't go anywhere. Somebody keep an eye on the city, make sure nothing bad happens to it. I will be gone for approximately 60 to, 60 to 120 seconds. I'm back. Alrighty, let's take a look at town. So, I'm wanting to put this plaza in. And the issue I am having is going to put a parking garage there, a parking garage here. So I can remember. But because of the length or the width of this road and the width of this road, the unit count is off, and I kind of wanted to just really design everything around it. But I did have I did have a crazy idea. The only problem is is I think it's gonna mess up my zoning. Um, that I already have in place. So, we take the large plaza. And we put it in...
All right, I have an idea. We're gonna take, we're gonna turn off the snapping. We're gonna put the plaza in. There we go. And then we're gonna delete this and this. So it's still centered, even though it's like kinda not <laughs> center ish. And then put this back on. There we go. Perfect. We shall zone in the commercial now. Section needs to be fixed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 right there except some idiot left the uh, double road tool on stoplights off unfortunately we're gonna have to dezone some of these buildings I thought I had planned ahead this time but I was apparently wrong And turns. And right hand turns here.
Very good. All right, that intersection's fixed. And I have to build the pedestrian over cross thing again. I might build it underground this time. I don't know, I'm debating on it. Pedestrian. Shapes are hard and big. I just sent you a donation. Oh, did you really? Uh, I, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Wow. So that would actually be the first donation I have ever received. <laughs> ever. So and there was much awesome. rejoicing. Hey, thank you very much for the follow. Very much appreciated. I'm going to I'm gonna look forward to that. Um, it shall fuel my gaming habits. <laughs> so I appreciate it. Thank you very much for the follow. My my wife will probably very much appreciate that too because she has been fueling my gaming habits. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Well I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, I shall use it to buy DLCs for City Skylines 2 or the upcoming Civ 7. So, yes, it, it shall fuel future gaming. <clears throat> so, you are wonderful. I should probably... Now, my brother's a pro... My brother does uh, streaming, but... Uh, or he did. I, I don't. So, I will find a way to get that alert set up because I don't think I have that alert set up to give you all the bells and whistles and stuff like that uh i honestly hadn't expected it so um i will have to do that um but good to see you mr glasses and thank you very much for the donation and um i hope you're doing well today Are you a fan of City Skylines? For that, I would like Elm Street named Glasses Way, please. Of course. Absolutely. Let's see here. I gotta find Elm Street. There it is. Done. All done. Love it. <laughs> I, 
I, I do as well. I like, um, I do enjoy, uh, a civilization, but, uh, have you played Dawn of Man? If you like city building games, that might be up your alley. Not a lot of people know about the game though. So, Dawn of Man, Glass Street, I, okay. So, Dawn of Man um, is a fun game. It is a city builder. You start off in the Stone Age with just huts, and eventually you build a, all the way up to the Iron Age uh, city. It's a lot of fun. Um, and then, of course, there's this game. a little funky. Age of Empires. Now, I think I played Age of Empires a long time ago when I was younger. And I very much enjoyed it. Um, I need, I would like to get back into it. But I need to um, probably buy the game again. Because while I've did have it. I think I had it on CD. And I don't think I have it anymore. <clears throat> I love the town on mobile yeah i thought about getting it on mobile um i just have not gotten around to that but i think that it would be fun simply because and here i was thinking i was going to end up having to uh mess up the street Sorry, I'm getting distracted with my um, attempt at precision building here, but um, <clears throat> sorry about that. That was probably not very appetizing, but um, in any case,
Yeah. It de for me, it depends. I will say that I do use a grid a lot. However, not always. Um, it may, I know it appears that I am. Some cities get a grid and others get wonky. <laughs> it just depends on the terrain. Absolutely. There we go. Now I'm just going to get rid of these last little crosswalks. And I'm going to get rid of that stoplight because it shouldn't be there. Thank you. Very much appreciated. And other thing that we need to do. <laughs> we have 500,000. All right, I think it's time for us to get the educational systems up and running. Did, I did not mean to do that. I dezone that. Delete the buildings that popped up. And then we're going to try again. Only this time, we're going to encourage the houses to form facing the correct direction that I want them to go. We're going to squash this so the correct size building appears. And then... There we go. Now we got some row housing going in. And I actually think I'm going to continue that trend. We're going to move this mill.
<laughs> since we have a gap right here and it's not gonna look good if I just put two row houses right there I'm gonna run a um, sidewalk right there I think Again. Let's go. Oh my god, Targers. Love it. There we go. And then I think I'm going to leave these alone. However, I am going to put row housing in right here. getting there I think we're gonna flush out this little bit here now Might be time to purchase some more tiles. And with the purchase of these tiles, we're going to work on upgrading one or two things. Uh oh, we're out of money.
not bad, not bad. Boy, all that white from the snow is just, ugh. <laughs> it's killing the eyes. As a night shifter, there's just, there's, just, there's just an awful lot of brightness. <laughs> it hurts in 3D glasses more. Oh no. Yeah, I've got a um I don't know about 3D glasses, but I've got the um my brother um mastermind hooked me up with some uh uh VR headset recently. He got me he hooked me up with his uh Oculus Rift. But I I'll admit I haven't tried it with uh, City Skylines yet. <laughs> right on. Right on, right on. Now I have tried, um, I did load into uh, Elite Dangerous the other day with the VR headset and that was, that was fun. Time for a snowball fight, absolutely. We have our mine. Now we are going to
There we go. Hopefully it won't be too terrible. All right. I am a fan of this relaxing music. What can we mine there? So, um, this is a ore deposit. That's what the blue is. Obviously, the darker the shade, the heavier the deposit. But we can mine ore, coal, or stone. But stone can be mined anywhere. So I think for right here, I'm going to mine the ore. So I'm going to set up the ore mine. But the other thing that I could do, I could f get the whole thing in one. Extend these borders out. Forgot to leave just a little bit of room for the train to get by because there will be a train, uh, there will be a rail line that's going to come through here. Here comes the ore king yep so um i'm glad you actually mentioned the music it gives me a chance to do a shout out so the music is from a um composer and um he has a youtube channel where he offers music for people who are into role-playing games dungeons and dragons pathfinder um, stuff like that and uh, he also allows streamers to use his stuff too um, but it's uh, his uh, channel is called uh, Michael Gelfi and you will be able to find his information in um, of course my uh, stream info and you can check out his his stuff so he has this, uh, sometimes I do the soft music like I do today, and then, uh, sometimes, um, uh, sometimes I play some stuff that's a little bit more, um, dramatic. Just depends on my mood. Um, I had a pretty rough shift, last shift, at work, so I kind of felt like I wanted to, uh, kind of mellow out a little. I am into D and D. I am into D and D, but can never find a game. Well, um, I actually host as a GM and a dungeon master, both, uh, both paid and free games. But I would be more than happy. Um, I would be more than happy to offer. A free game. I just need to find the time to do it. The only thing I ever ask is is that if I do do a game, that I I just like to record them so that way I can put them up on my channel. But 
but I actually just got hired to do a, to GM uh, for someone's birthday the other day. Usually I usually I I play for free. Well, it's funny you should ask that. I was just uh, thinking that I was going to install some industry or um, um, a refuse service. connected we should start to see it go into operation although why it's not going into operation I do not know I'm gonna be mad if it's glitched out right after I spent all that time up oh, there it goes there it goes there it goes scared myself. I thought I placed the wrong asset down.
Looks like you need housing for the miners. Um, probably. To be honest, I'll uh, have to get to it in a minute though, because I am completely tied up. All right, now that we have the rail yard installed, we can actually turn on the train station. And we have already set up the train lines to go to all of the local cities. So we'll start to see a lot more traffic coming and going. that yet all right <clears throat> we are in demand for medium density and industrial so I'm building industry as fast as I can I've got a huge foresting industry huge mining industry and I zoned in a bunch of medium density housing right here earlier like there's some ore here but I am not going to develop that ore. I have plans. And unfortunately we're going to have to change this train station up later. Um, we're going to have to rebuild it and then we'll probably have to put it further down um, because I want to develop this island and rebuild these castle ruins into the actual castle. So, we're going to restore the castle and make it a tourist attraction. In the meantime, I'm going to work this park a little bit here. I think to solve this, I am going to introduce the mixed housing. Hmm. Not quite ready to do it yet, but it's going to happen. I was thinking about exporting the lumber and the ore by building a seaport, but I'm not quite ready for that either. We do need to install a community college. Um, so there's a couple things that we don't have. Um, we don't have a police department, so let's get that going. We don't have a fire station. We don't have health care. So we almost have enough for a police department. So we're going to get that. We're still running at eight, eight times speed. So 
so we'll just keep on building. <laughs> Fire, then cops. Uh, unfortunately, I know that um, fire's a big demand. Uh, however, it's not a major issue. There's a very, very high crime rate um, that's making people not want to live here. So um, we need to get the police up and running, and then we need to get the ambulance services up and running. Um and we need to get fire up and running. We also need death care services. So there's a lot of uh, basic services that we just have got to get up and running as quickly as we can. And we're doing a challenge build because when you normally play this game, you unlock milestones and it gives you money. Um, we did not do that. We have purposely, uh, we unlocked all of buildings at the beginning uh and then of course it gave us all the milestone money we purposely bled away all the milestone money until we had nothing but this we were just under the starting amount and uh that you normally start the game with and then that's when we started the game so we have all buildings unlocked but we don't get the injections of money that you normally get from playing the game so, we have to generate and all the money from the economy to build the city up. So, right, well, let's take a look at it. I gotta find my mouse. It's hard to see my white mouse against the snow. Alright, um... So, right now... The crime success rate is at 54%. <laughs> um, the crime probability is 100%, with the success rate of said crime being at 42% at the moment. There are 23 wanted criminals in my town of... 3,000 people. So. We need to get a police department and we need to get some warrants issued. <laughs> They're wanted. Dead or alive. Um, health rate... There's currently 28 people that are sick or injured, but there are ambulances from outside cities that are coming to pick people up and take them to the hospital. So I feel like, I feel like uh, at the moment, the uh, police department is the biggest issue and got to figure out where I'm going to put it. And I think I'm going to put it right in here that'll kind of put it in the center of town but it'll also put it near the uh, main commercial district that I'm planning to build alright we should have enough to place the police station there Next up will be the clinic. So we should see the high, uh, this is our, all, everything that uh, people are upset about. 
Uh, we should start seeing the crime rate drop as the law enforcement gets the crime under control, hopefully. Uh, so we have to wait for them to go and pick up all the criminals, but... Uh, it's still at... 24 wanted criminals, 46% crime success rate, and of course we can see our police officers going and doing their patrols now. Crime probability has dropped from a hundred percent to eighty-eight percent. The crime success rate has dropped to forty-one percent and is continuing to fall. put more police cars on the road to help catch it back up. All right. Let's raise taxes. Double the taxes. Triple the taxes. Squeeze every last drop out of those insolent uh, musical peasants. It is unfortunate, but we are going to have to do some work on this rail line because poor planning on my part has resulted in some issues. So, it was a good idea in the past to place this where we had. didn't work out. Train, rail lines.
we got to get the power turned back on for these people. And the power's back on. Water's still running. But I'm going to adjust it anyway. Down and delete this section here. This road is going bye bye. <clears throat> All right, so this line of track here is now can be decommissioned. All right, and then let's see here. I feel like this is Railroad Tycoon right now. Uh, police station seems to have made your city pop grow big. Yes, uh, people have wanted to move back into the city since it is no longer uh, crime riddled. They won't want to live here if there's a lot of crime. So fixing the crime uh, will make them want to move in and it has made it better. It looks like the next um, things we need to worry about is healthcare followed by um, taxes and such. They don't like that I just uh, raised the taxes. However, doing this has given us an opportunity.
right. Beautiful. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Huzzah, the snow has melted. All may rejoice. That was the alarm telling me that my phone was about to die. Perfect. Beautiful. Love it.
What's going on? Welcome back, Mr. Glasses. Mr. 3D Glasses, that is. Why did the mayor of City Skylines to hire a comedian to help with city planning? Because he wanted to make sure the city had good infrastructure for stand-up comedy clubs. Hmm. Makes sense to me. I see no flaw in this logic. Why did the traffic light break up the pedestrian? Break up with the pedestrian because it couldn't handle their crosswalk. 
Oh boy, I did not realize we was gonna be getting dad jokes today. <laughs> Music reminds me of Bridgerton. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's all a roundabout way, but it's all for the greater cause. <coughs> we'll get it fixed here shortly as we unlock more and more tiles.
four. Let's get the college up and running. I need 250,000. All right, people are worried about high taxes, unreliable internet service, traffic, and lack of entertainment. I'm gonna keep planning the city though. I am not inclined to hear their cries of suffering. I called my city Air Airthorn. Airthorn? Okay. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it correctly, but I, I my brain is able to read that, but my mouth is not able to repeat that. If that makes any sense whatsoever. I need to step away for just a second. Uh, I needed a quick bio break. I have been sitting here for quite a while. So, Airhorn City is a bustling metropolis located on the eastern coast of the country. It is known for its stunning agriculture, vibrant culture, and diverse community. The city is a hub of innovation and creativity with numerous research institutions, tech companies, cultural centers located within its borders. Very good. I like it. All right, in the meantime, I'm gonna step away for a bio break and uh, take care of some business. Uh, I won't be gone very long. I am going to uh, just step away and I will be right back. So don't go anywhere and yeah, I'll see you in just a second.
the back. Went and got myself a little bowl of stew. You know, I was saving up to buy more tiles, but I think I'm actually going to put that water treatment plant in as quickly as I can. I want to stop that pollution as quickly as I can. of said water treatment plants. I'm going to buy a tile and do some landscaping.
this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Increasing areas of forest are being engulfed by flames. The thick smoke rising from the fire makes the air dangerous to breathe. Citizens are advised to vacate any premises near the fires and remain at a safe distance until emergency services manage to get the fires under control.
frequency broadcast to all citizens. Increasing areas of forest are being engulfed by flames. The thick smoke rising from the fire makes the air dangerous to breathe. Citizens are advised to vacate any premises near the fires and remain at a safe distance until emergency services manage to get the fires under control.
All right, I'm back. And we got a hefty, sizable amount of change that developed while I was gone, which is good. Pretty much guarantee we're going to undo this interchange. Continue to work the land and get it ready for our city.
threat. Winter again.
Oops.
3D glasses, what's up? Trust all as well. Welcome back. Unless you didn't go anywhere. <laughs> you might have just been lurking and they're just fine too. in the shower yep cities it's it's getting there i'm buying up land in anticipation for where i'm putting it um and then uh adding in a few things here and there readying a layout this is going to be a town that's going to support a nuclear power plant that i'm gonna place right here But I need to, uh, there's a certain amount of industry and things that need to be brought into the area before all that can happen. Interesting.
<laughs> oh my goodness. The dad jokes are back.
Bruce Fire Junior High School. What is your rule for roads? So 241, F5 is a quick save, F9 is quick load. What is my rule for roads? Um, generally don't really have a rule. Try to use, um, try to use lane mathematics and it just depends. It depends on if I'm doing a grid or just more of a suburb type layout. making bus routes yeah I haven't made any um, in this game specifically um, but I've made a bunch in the past Thank you. 
break. All right, I'm back.
<laughs> More taxes.
Hey, Glass, welcome back.
Train derailment. I'm not sure where the bottleneck is on this. I mean, it looks like a train derailment, but it says it's in route. I'm not sure if it's registering as an accident.
Well, I think I've played around with this about as much as I can for now. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a stream, get hit the bag. I should be back this evening, so make sure you're watching out for my uh, stream. Don't forget to hit the buttons, tell the algorithms I'm doing a good job. And if you want to uh, catch any of my future streams, make sure you uh, press the button that uh, launches the notifications. Because uh, otherwise, uh, you know, you know my schedule's weird, so you know how that goes. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get ready to head out. Make sure that you are hitting the buttons. Uh, don't forget to um, turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys next time.